Hello, my name is Matt and I'm with the New York Restoration Project. Today we are walking through one of New York City's beautiful parks. There are so many parks and open spaces and community gardens that are throughout the city. Sometimes you can find a green urban oasis right around the corner. Now, when looking through these spaces, you're gonna see so many bright and amazing colors. Earlier, you saw a white flower, you saw a big, broad green leaf, and you saw a green leaf, or was it three leaves together? Now, there was something about that leaf, the one with the three leaves, that makes me nervous. Oh, that's right, it's gonna, it's gonna cause me to scratch and itch, and we shouldn't touch that, right? No, okay, okay, it's, it's called poison ivy? Let's not touch the poison ivy. Now, I see this lovely, lovely tree, and I spy something green. Do you see it? Oh, it's right above me! It's these beautiful Japanese maple leaves. How cool is that? While the leaves are small, when they're all together, they create a beautiful canopy and they give us shade. That helps keep us cool from that summer heat. And then you can just sit down and quickly, oh, check for that poison ivy and enjoy the cool breeze and escape from that summer heat. Now, if we come over here, you're gonna see another color. I spy something red. What do you see? Oh, do you see these beautiful red leaves? These are the leaves of the Japanese maple tree. Yes, it's another Japanese maple. Oh, but wait. This one has red leaves and that one has green leaves. How can that be? That's because some trees have different colored leaves, but they can still be the same species of trees. They're called different cultivars. You've got a green Japanese maple leaf, and you've got a red Japanese maple leaf. And when they're all grouped together, they can still create that nice, cool, calm shade that protects us from the sun.